Poodles are most well known for their distinctive appearance and their intelligence. As a matter of fact, they are the second most intelligent dog breed in the world and the fifth most popular. But poodles are one of the few breeds that do not need an introduction. So, without further ado, let's begin. Here are 15 important facts that both new and prospective owners should know about poodles. Number 1. Poodles were not always pampered dogs. Despite their reputation as pampered lap dogs, poodles were originally bred in the 17th century for hunting. Plus, the breed's history is a bit controversial. Of course, the poodle is the national dog of France, but despite the association, it is said that the breed actually originated in Germany as a hunting dog, for waterfowl-like birds and ducks, and the name poodle means splashing in water. And because of their history, many of the breed's characteristics, such as having a water repellent, weather-resistant coat, are linked to their hunting background. Needless to say, our current poodle's natural love for swimming and retrieving is directly tied to their ancestors. Number 2. You have three recognized sizes to choose from. Standard, Miniature, and Toy. The Standard Poodle is the original size that was bred to hunt and weighs between 40 and 70 pounds. The Standard Poodle was then bred to be smaller on purpose so that it could be used in French circuses as the smaller size was easier to transport from circus to circus. And this smaller version is called the Miniature Poodle and they weigh between 10 and 15 pounds. On the other hand, the Toy Poodle, which weighs between 4 and 8 pounds, was created in the 20th century when breeders reduced the size of the Miniature Poodle in order to create a small companion dog. Needless to say, all three sizes are now loving companion pets who are equally intelligent and share similar personalities. Therefore, your main concern should be which size to choose, based on your preference and lifestyle. Both the American Kennel Club and the Kennel Club of England recognize all three sizes. Number 3. You also have two other sizes to choose from. Klein or Teacup. The Klein or medium-sized poodle weighs between 40 and 50 pounds and is the size between a standard and miniature poodle. Many national kennel clubs, like the American Kennel Club, don't accept medium-sized poodles. However, they are recognized by the International Canine Federation. There is also the teacup poodle, but most major kennel clubs do not acknowledge them either. Instead, this unofficial name, teacup poodle, is given to poodles that weigh less than toy poodles. Furthermore, a teacup poodle's small size can cause a variety of health problems, so we suggest that you do your homework if you are thinking about getting one. Number 4. You have a few options when it comes to their coat colors. You don't have to get the popular colors of black, white, or brown. Poodles also come in other solid colors like gray, silver, blue, apricot, red, and cream. They also come in bicolor and multicolor patterns, but most clubs, including the American and United Kennel Clubs, do not accept these patterns. Keep in mind that color recognition by kennel clubs is only important if you intend to show your poodle at dog shows. If this is the case, in addition to the coat color, there are also other regulations and standards like the color of the nose, eyes, and paw pads. Number 5. Poodles have exceptional personality traits. As mentioned earlier, all poodles have similar personalities, no matter what size you choose. They are very intelligent, making them easy to train and a great choice for first-time owners. Plus, they are friendly, playful, well-behaved, affectionate, and devoted, all the qualities you would want in a companion pet. Most poodles are also adaptable, so if you live in an apartment, even a standard poodle can be happy and at ease. Number 6. Your poodle will need daily exercise. According to the American Kennel Club, all three sizes are energetic, so expect your poodle to be a very active pet. Exercise is a crucial part of their care, and they require the opportunity to play, run, and jump. Needless to say, they need adequate exercise every day, and because they like to be busy, you will need to give them both outdoor exercise and indoor playtime. 
Keep in mind that the standard poodle will have more endurance and strength. Plus, regardless of which size you choose, remember the breed is not a Doberman or a German Shepherd, so keep their exercise activity at a light to moderate level. I suggest speaking to your vet about the right amount of exercise for your pet based on his size and age. Nonetheless, they love walks with their human family, but keep them on a leash. Plus, poodles appreciate being in the water, and swimming is an excellent form of low-impact exercise for them. Number 7. Poodles also need mental stimulation. Besides physical exercise, poodles need ongoing mental stimulation because of their high intelligence. So, you will need to provide them with puzzle toys to stimulate their minds. Plus, your poodle will also appreciate it if you keep him stimulated by tossing toys, sticks, or balls for him to catch or by playing a good game of fetch. All these activities will pique their interest and keep them mentally stimulated. If you have a busy schedule, I suggest that you give your poodle both physical and mental stimulation each time you take him out. For example, instead of leisurely walking your poodle for 30 minutes, you could play a game of fetch with him instead. In that way, he is both physically and mentally stimulated. Number 8. Poodles are prone to separation anxiety. Poodles dislike being left alone for long periods of time. This is because they are clingy and want to be with their owner most of the time. Plus, poodles do not like feeling bored, so they require lots of attention and a sense of belonging. If you must leave them for a couple hours or so, it's important to make sure that they have plenty of stimulation while you're away. Like letting him watch doggy TV, listen to doggy music, or play with interactive toys. A neglected poodle will undoubtedly develop behavioral issues, including excessive barking, chewing, and digging. So, if you are away from home for most of the day, or if you're looking for an independent dog, the poodle might not be the right choice for you. Number 9. A poodle's coat care is high maintenance. Poodles have hair instead of fur, and their hair is low allergen and practically non-shedding, so the breed is a great option for people who struggle with allergies. However, a poodle's tight, curly hair is prone to tangles and knots. This means they require daily brushing from the hair root to the tip, unless you intend to keep their hair short. But just like human hair, a poodle's hair grows fast, so frequent trimming is needed to keep it short. Therefore, long or short, their coat care is high maintenance. Number 10. A poodle's other grooming needs. Hair grows in a poodle's ears, so it should be trimmed on a regular basis to prevent earwax accumulation and moisture, both of which can cause an ear infection. Plus, their nails should be trimmed every week, their teeth should be brushed daily, and they should get a bath every six weeks or so. However, if your poodle's care is too overwhelming or time-consuming, you may want to consider having it done by a professional groomer. Having said that, basic grooming should be incorporated into your dog's everyday routine from an early age, plus it's a great way to bond with your new pet. Number 11. Poodles are renowned for their stylish haircuts. Poodles' hair is the breed's crowning glory, and their different hairstyle choices can get quite fancy. Here are some of the popular styles that you can request from your groomer, or you can choose to do it yourself. An English saddle clip, a teddy bear clip, a continental clip, a lion clip, or a sporting clip. Honestly, most owners will have these cuts done by a professional groomer, because some of these trims can be challenging to achieve if you are inexperienced. However, if those fancy hairdos don't appeal to you much, you might want to attempt the puppy clip, which is essentially nothing fancy, just an even, shorter cut. If you would like to see all the popular poodle hairstyles, you can Google the information. Number 12. Poodles need adequate training. Even though poodles are usually calm and won't give you as many problems as some other untrained breeds, you'll have a much happier life with your new pet if you train him well. By now, you know that their intelligence level makes them easy to train. Moreover, they are eager to please, so training will not be challenging if you use positive reinforcement techniques, like treats, praises, and extra kisses. 
reprimanding or harsh training methods will not be effective with your poodle. In reality, poodles can become unruly and yappy if they lack firm guidance and proper training. Number 13. Poodles are protective and extremely loyal. A poodle is naturally protective and loyal to his humans. Because of this, they usually form a strong bond with their owner very quickly. Plus, a poodle's love and devotion will cause him to be very sensitive and in tune to their owner's emotions. So if you are sad, your poodle will most likely not leave your side during this time. Still, this unwavering loyalty and instinct to protect can cause a poodle to develop aggressive and territorial behaviors toward his owner. Which takes us to number 14. You will need to socialize your poodle. To curtail a poodle's aggressive and territorial behaviors, he must receive adequate socialization. Plus, poodles are alert and sensitive to noise, which can cause excessive barking, and this is another reason why socialization is crucial. You can socialize your poodle by taking him to new places, exposing him to new sights, sounds, animals, and people, as well as by giving him lots of playtime with other fully vaccinated puppies. These are all important components of socialization, which should start the moment he gets home. Socializing will help your poodle become a well-rounded dog, who knows how to behave in varying situations, doesn't get jealous, and can get along with both other people and animals. Number 15. Poodles, Health Issues. The poodle is a healthy breed, and their lifespan ranges between 10 and 18 years. But poodles, like all other breeds, are prone to a few health problems, and there are some that new owners should be aware of. These include epilepsy, hip dysplasia, which happens when the hip joint is weak and fragile, and eye conditions, like cataract. Additionally, toy and miniature poodles are more prone to luxating patella, which is a dislocated kneecap. While the standard poodle is more prone to sebaceous adenitis, which is a skin disease that can cause hair loss. Standards are also prone to gastric dilatation, also known as bloat, which is when the stomach has too much fluid or gas. We recommend adopting, if not, it's important that you buy your pup from a reputable breeder, as they usually aim to breed healthy puppies. Bottom line, the majority of poodles can live healthy lives well into old age, if they receive the proper care, love, and attention, which includes routine visits to the vet. Are you a poodle pet parent? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you are notified when we upload. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.